Hey guys, welcome back to Pat Max Adventures. I am Patrick, and for the first time in seven years of traveling, I am finally doing a packing video. Everything that you see today, this has been my life for the last seven years. My first bag is a basic backpack, but this is not any basic backpack. It is amazing. It's got a hundred compartments in here. I bought it in Taiwan. It has lasted me quite a while. The back has a really padded area and it soaks up sweat really well and it's just a really amazing backpack. Later on, I will show you what this bag looks like once I have it fully packed. Here's my main bag that I travel with. This is more of a backpacker bag. I've got my big straps here. It's got waist straps. Check out this padding, guys. The padding is incredible. There's also a zipper on each waist strap so you can put your passport in here, money, change. It's really come in handy. This really, really helped me throughout the years traveling. This is the inside. This compartment can get pretty big. I love the compartment on the side here with the zippers. And there's also a few other compartments in the front here. And there's also kind of like a secret compartment here that I can open up and I can put stuff right on the back side. This is a really cool bag. All right, guys, now let's get into it. So let's start in the back, guys. I have two pairs of jeans. These are my blue jeans, and below are my black jeans. I have some black shorts here. These are my traveling pants. They're so comfortable. I got these in Thailand. You will see these all over Southeast Asia. Love them. Then here are some gray sweatpants. Great for cool weather. Here are my blue gym shorts that I can use for a variety of activities. Below that, I have my black gym shorts. Again, I can use these hiking, at the gym, just any activities I want. Here here are my little sport shorts. These I sometimes wear when I go swimming, sometimes to the gym as well. Back here is my one dress shirt, so if I have a special occasion, I can wear this. I have two long sleeve shirts, a gray one and a black one from Banana Republic. Here are my t-shirts, all Uniqlo. I have green, maroon. Here's my Pat Max Adventures shirt. I have a dark blue, light blue, and then another blue one right here. Here is my blue gym shirt that also doubles as my work shirt for Palfish for teaching. Below that is my gray gym shirt here and then my black gym shirt. These really come in handy when it comes to sweating, so they're great for hiking or when I know I'm gonna get really sweaty. Here are my tank tops. I've had this pink tank top forever. I have just a typical black under tank top. And then here is my Under Armour tank top. I love this one. These are my gym leggings. I use these for hiking and I wear my shorts over them just in case there are any mosquitoes, bugs, um, if I accidentally scratch myself on rocks or branches, these will help protect me from all of those things. Here are my boxer briefs. Yes, I am a boxer brief guy. I am very colorful, blue, green, army, <laughs> maroon, black. I travel with one belt. This is a rain cover for my bag, so if I get caught in the rain, I can use this to cover my bag and protect it from the rain. This is a thermometer to test my temperature if I'm ever sick. This is my pocket knife. Here is a pen. Tissues, have to have tissues. Little compass. I've got my little Buddha here. I've had this guy, gosh, I've had this guy for almost 10 years. A good friend in Hawaii gave this to me and it's just kind of a good luck charm. Here is my sweater. So if it gets cold or I'm in cold weather, I will use this. Back here is my head bandana, so I will use this when I go hiking. Back here are my gloves, so I used these whenever I was in China during the winter time in Russia. These come in handy when you're in cold weather. Here is my beanie that also comes in handy with cold weather. These are my arm sleeves that I can wear on my arms to protect myself from the sun if I'm walking outside and it's really hot and I don't want to get burned on my arms. Here are some other gloves that I use when I go hiking. You can see I've already used them a bit. Uh, these are great for just other little things I may need to use gloves for. Over here is my Speedo. Yes, guys, I love to wear my Speedo and tan and swim. I'm a swimmer, so this really helps me swim a lot faster when I'm swimming in the pools. Here is my pocketable parka. This comes in real handy when it's raining or I'm hiking and then it starts raining. I always carry this in my day bag. I've got my umbrella. I've got my canister here. I use this all the time for water or tea. I've got my black socks here, my gray socks here. 
This is a dry towel, so this towel dries really quickly. I can use this at the gym, when I go hiking, or even to the beach, it really comes in handy. Here is where I keep all of my important documents throughout the years, so anything that I need for traveling or just my personal information I keep in here. I also have another one here that I keep in another bag, passport, photos, uh, my bachelor's degree, all of those kind of things I will carry in these. Here is Bob, he is one of my buddies when I'm teaching, the kids love him. Here's his brother, Bobo the polar bear. <laughs> He's an actual puppet, they love him too. Here's some tape, I've got a selfie stick. This is my ocean pack, it's a 10 liter. This is waterproof. I got this in Coron in the Philippines here. It's amazing. I highly recommend getting one of these if you're gonna be traveling and doing water boat tours or going to the beach. This is my day bag that I take out with me every time I leave and it has all my essentials during the day. This is a nice sheet blanket I got in Thailand. I take this all the time when I go to the beach. It's great to sit on. You can fit usually two, maybe three people sometimes on these. Really comes in handy. Here are my toiletries, guys. Deodorant, uh, shaving cream, band-aids, all the essentials I have in here, floss, my Korean face masks. <laughs> Then I have a bag over here of things. There's some mosquito repellent, sunscreen. These are all the germ killing liquids I have in here. I carry a razor. Here's the charger. And then all of the razor heads are in here. This is a waterproof case for your phone, but it still has my Cebu City Government Enhanced Community Quarantine Pass. <laughs> I haven't taken that out yet. Here is my water camera that I use. Here are some Lysol wipes. I will be using this when I get on the plane, definitely wiping down my seat. This is my small power bank, so if my phone needs to be charged or I'm working and something runs out of battery, I can use this one. This is my second power bank. Here is my external hard drive, two terabytes. Huge amount of space, really comes in handy. Here's my extension cord. It has all these different outlets and I can use different plugs in it. Here is a mess of cords and extension plugs that I use. Here's some more camera equipment. Here's a plastic Tupperware that I travel with. What I will do is I will put my electronics in this and then I pack it in my bag. I also use this for takeout. So I try to save as much as I can with the environment. So when I go down to get some food, I will try to have them put my food in here. It might sound weird to some people, but it makes me feel good and comes in handy. Here's some more cords, my headphones, I've got some masks, here's my N95 mask, I've got my face shield here, I've got glasses as well, my passport is inside, here are my passport photos, not cute, <laughs> my wallet, here is my lock, so if I go to a hostel or the gym and they have lockers, this comes in real handy, sunglasses here, my phone, my computer, my iPad, I use my iPad for work. My computer is for convenience and editing all my videos and just watching movies. And then I've got my phone right here. I also have metal straws. Check this out guys, a friend gave these to me. I love them. This one would be used for bulba. And then I've got three other small metal straws. After seeing the video of that turtle years ago and just being more consciously and environmentally healthy. I've decided to carry metal straws everywhere I go. It's really easy. I keep some straws at home. I keep some straws in my bag. Here is my laundry bag. Gosh, I've had this for a few years. It's really come in handy. I use it anywhere and everywhere. And back here are my packing cubes. You will see these later. These are amazing. This one is for my tank tops and a few shirts. This one is for my boxer briefs and socks and my Speedo. This one is for all of my shirts. So t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, my dress shirt, all of those go in here. Here are my two tripods. This one I was just using. I use this one every day for teaching. It folds up really easily and nicely. Over here is the circle light or beauty light, I guess you can call it, and it folds up really easily. Both of these fit nice and snug into my backpack. 
finally guys, here are my shoes. These are my regular shoes that I will wear anywhere I go. Sometimes I'll use them hiking. They're really basic, but they can be used for a multiple amount of activities along with the gym. Here are my sandals, flip-flops, slippers, whatever you like to call them. I've had these for almost two years and they have lasted a long time and they've done a really great job. Then here are my water shoes. So these are really helpful and essential if you're gonna go into some hiking, if you wanna walk, hike up some waterfalls, if you're gonna go trekking in the water somewhere and if there are a lot of sharp rocks, these are really important to have. Flash forward two days later and I am here in Costa Rica guys. This is where I'm going to be staying for my first month here in Costa Rica. I'll give you guys a little preview of where I'm staying but later on this month I will do a full detailed video about where I'm staying in my accommodation here and the beach is literally two minutes walk away. It's incredible. So here are my bags guys. I just came from the airport. This is my main bag. This is what it looks like oh, when it's fully packed. Still got all my tags on it. And then down here is my, as that one falls over, here is the backpack. My backpack is packed to the max. Again, I love the padding back here and it just makes it so much more comfortable to wear. But you can see, I can pack this pretty tightly with all of my things inside. So this is what it looks like when I have my main bag on, guys. You can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. I've got my waist straps down here. I can put my passport or change down here. It really comes in handy. A really comfortable bag. Now I'll wear my backpack in front and show you guys what that looks like. I know this might look really uncomfortable having two big bags on each side, but it actually is not that bad because this bag is really heavy this bag is really heavy it really evens out the weight whenever I'm walking around or going through subways or in and out of airports and airplanes so this is what it looks like when I'm fully loaded <laughs> when I'm fully loaded no one's gonna get in my way right excuse me <laughs> I actually had finished this video back in Manila, Philippines, and in that video I got really emotional. I mean, I'm a pretty sensitive guy, but because I was in the Philippines for a year and so much happened, so many good things happened. This channel is about traveling and sharing my adventures. It's not so much about my personal life because my personal life is my personal life. But a lot happened in my personal life that I didn't share on my YouTube channel and it was really, really hard to leave the Philippines. It was bittersweet and I kind of broke down there but I wanted to be able to show you guys me being vulnerable that when you move from place to place, sometimes you make connections and sometimes it's hard and it's emotionally hard and sometimes you have to make decisions that are best for yourself and what's gonna make you the most happy but that doesn't mean that you can't go back to that place and continue what you started which is what I plan to do in the future but now I'm here in Costa Rica and I'm just I'm really happy and I miss the Philippines and I can't wait to go back I hope this video was interesting to you guys if you have any comments or anything that you would like to suggest or add to everything that I travel with these are what my bags look like and have looked like for the last six seven years things have changed here and there but everything I showed you in today's video is my life and it's everything that I need and I still try to dress comfortably and nicely and I will buy t-shirts and things here and there but yeah that's pretty much it thanks again for watching guys I'm gonna go out and explore this area of Costa Rica that I'm in and the next time I see you guys I will be sharing with you where I'm staying and start to show this beautiful country of Costa Rica. Remember to live every moment to the max. I'll see you guys next time.